I said good afternoon, I greet you, or good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you may be watching this from, and whatever time and time zone that you may be watching this from, I greet you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not yet given your heart to him, I pray that you may consider turning your life over, turning a new page this morning, and give it over to him. Trust in the Lord with all your might, and lean not to your own understanding, all your ways acknowledge him, he promised that he will direct your path. The word of encouragement today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and I'm just be touching on verse 8 to verse 11. It's a very crucial part of our, our, our life as believers, knowing that we're not here without any assistance. We're not here without any special giftings from God. And these, this uh, chapter 12 deals with spiritual gifts. So grateful that the Holy Spirit gives us give, gifts. There are nine gifts of the Spirit. Nine gifts of the Spirit. Verse 8 says, For to one is given by the Spirit word of wisdom. That's number one. The word of wisdom being able to um, speak of things that only comes from the wisdom of God. Number two, to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit. So here now we'll have the, the word of knowledge, which is uncommon knowledge, not earthly knowledge, but knowledge of something or someone that you are able to speak because you are connected to this Holy Spirit. And he gives you that gift of the word of knowledge in order for you now to, to say something to a situation or a person that you would normally be able to say. Number three now, he says, to another faith by the same spirit. Faith is a gift. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Evidence of things not seen. So the gift of faith is not just believing faith, um, saving faith, but this faith is to be mountain moving faith. Because the gift of faith goes beyond just our saving faith. Number four now, he says, and to others, the gift of healing by the same spirit. You now have the gift of healing by the same spirit, the Holy Spirit. The gift of healing has to be that supernatural ability that when you lay hands on somebody, you will see healing comes. Now, every believer has the ability or through the power of Christ, uh, because he tells us in, um, in, in, in the book of Mark, I believe, that we can lay our hands on the sick and see them recover. But here, this is a gift of the Spirit. And it says the gift of healings, not just healing. So you will have that gift that whenever you lay your hands on somebody, they'll be healed. Or you'll have that supernatural empowerment that when you lay your hands, you will see the manifestation through healing. Number 10 now says, To another the working of miracles, to another the working of miracles. So, not just healing, the gift, but the working of miracles. Miracles, working, power. You'll, you'll, you'll receive that when you have this gift. You will have the ability to miraculously, um, to, to see some miraculous things occur by the, the unction and the power that comes through the Spirit of God. And to another prophecy. You now you have prophets that prophesy in the office of the prophets. But there is a, this is a gift to be able to prophesy. And if you recall in the Bible, it talks about coveting the best gifts. And the gift that was, was incited for us to covet is the gift of prophecy. 
Because when we prophesy, we do not prophesy unto man, but we prophesy the very mind of God. We declare the very thing of God as if God was saying it through us. To another is a discerning of spirits. Then that you'll be able, in this gift, you'll be able to discern any funny spirit in the place that you may be operating. You'll be able to discern witchcraft spirit, devilish spirit that, that, is, that is not for God. You'll be able to discern that and be able adequately to deal with it because of the power of the Holy Ghost. To another, the discerning of spirits and to another, different kinds of tongues that you'll be able to speak tongues now referring to languages. Because in Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Ghost came upon them, they were able to speak in other tongues. And when we look at what other songs mean it means then the other languages of those who were hearing it so that when they were speaking i don't know if they were hearing their own even when they were speaking out of what they heard each group or each creed or race were hearing their own language being spoken and there's tongues tongues of men and tongues of angel as well but with this gift you are own your own you are going to be able or equipped to speak with tongues and to another the interpretation of tongues so apart from having the gift to speak in tongues or other tongues tongues you will also now have the gift to interpret the tongues that you are hearing some people may acquire both these gifts together while some will only have the gift of speaking in tongues and by the spirit you are able to discern if anyone else is there to interpret the tongues that you will be speaking and paul says if you if you if there's no one to interpret it it's best that we remain quiet but this gift now is the interpretation of tongues and we close it up by saying in verse 11 but one and the same spirit work all these things distributing to each one individually as he wills as a believer you have access to these gifts it's not that you're going to receive all nine gifts but that it says that the holy spirit will distribute to each each person individually as he wills so if he's going to give you two he will he's going to give you one that's what you're going to get but the holy spirit gives you gifts and you must utilize these gifts when you when when you when you receive them so if you get the gift of healing go heal in the name of jesus if you, you have the gifts of miracles go work miracles in the name of jesus if you have the gift of tongues of all kind of tongues go speak in tongues in the name of jesus you have the interpretation of tongues go interpret the tongues in the name of jesus the discerning of spirit go discern those spirits and by the power of jesus christ you rebuke them and if it's prophesy go prophesy in the name of jesus if it's faith go work your faith in jesus name i pray Amen and amen.